Well, I hope everybody um, is doing well in these really difficult circumstances. We certainly miss our families and especially our students. Our halls have seemed empty for so long as we've dealt with this public health crisis. This is an uncertain time, a challenging time in our history. Uh, you need to know, families, that we're staying informed from every authority on how best to serve our students and how best to keep them safe and healthy. We don't have all the answers right now. We're still working really hard, but we have a constructional framework that we think is gonna serve our students really well. Um, as I sent to you a few weeks ago in our COVID message, our plan is gonna be based on parent choice. We think that's really, really important. And underneath the parent choice are really three guiding principles that are so important. First, the safety and health of our students, our faculty and our family, that's paramount. Second, to continue our students' instruction so that they move academically and are prepared to move to the next grade and succeed. And finally, to do it in a way that does not overburden our teachers and does not burn our teachers out, to be quite honest. This is really important. Those are the three legs, safety, academics, and making sure our teaching team is ready to move forward. Now, we're gonna do this in a really unique way. In our classrooms, our teachers will be teaching a set of students that are in person at the same time that students will be online watching that instruction live. Now, this is a new approach and we're learning as we go, but we feel confident that our teachers are ready to implement this program. So our on-campus students are learning in person, our off-campus students are learning virtually the same lesson at the same time. Now, you off-campus students, you're going to still be required to attend school at your normal hours. You're going to be required to turn in your work just as if you were in school. Really important. That way, both groups of students, off-campus and on-campus, are moving through the state standards and moving through the curriculum at the same time. We want to keep every student with the best possible instruction we can. This keeps all of our students moving forward. This makes sure that they stay with the same teacher, whether they shift from on campus to off campus or vice versa. And it builds a sense of community among students. We think that this is the very best approach. Now, while we're trying to keep both things the same for on campus and off campus, we know there are gonna be slight differences. Some of our off campus related arts might not be as rigorous as we want. It's just too difficult to make that happen. They'll be given an opportunity to do some remediation, some fun things for art and music and dance, but they won't have the same experience as the on-campus kids in those classes. We're gonna to continue to do PE, it's a state requirement, so every child, whether they're on campus or off campus, are gonna get the experience of doing some physical education, at least weekly. Now for you 4K parents, the only option is on campus and we have a long list of parents that are excited about coming to us on campus. Um, we just felt like the 4K kids could not lure in a virtual environment. Uh, we are doing all the appropriate physical distancing things we can to keep our kiddos just as safe as possible. Now whether you're an on-campus student or you're an off-campus student, you're going to have some new learning. Our on-campus students, you're going to have to learn all about our physical distancing. When you walk in, you're going to have to wash our hands at the hand washing station before you enter the school. Our cafeteria is completely reconfigured to make sure that you're physical distanced when you're having lunch. All our classrooms are also physical distanced so that we keep our students just as far away as we can. Our hallway configuration is changed. Everything about our school is just a little bit different. So on campus students, you've got some new learning. Off campus students, you've got new learning as well. You're gonna to have to learn how to operate in a live stream environment, which is different. You're gonna to have to be a little bit more independent in your work. Either on campus or off campus, we know that you students will step up and do a great job. Now, parents, this is a tough decision. And each family is gonna to have to make that decision based on what they know about their family and their child. And we honor that decision no matter what you do. And we're committed to giving you the best possible school experience, whatever your choice. Now, parents, you're gonna make this choice for a nine week period for the first grading period. That choice is gonna be, I'm gonna be off campus for the first nine weeks or on campus for the first nine weeks. And either choice, we know we're gonna deliver just the very best instruction possible. At the end of that nine weeks, you'll have the opportunity to change your choice if you want. And we think that's a good opportunity for parents. Now our hope and prayer is that soon, all of our students are back here at East Point Academy together again, where we know the very best instruction happens with a student and a teacher in a classroom. Um, parents, we're doing all we can. I can promise you that. We're gonna do everything we can, the best that we can do to serve your families and your students. 
and we're going to evolve and change as we learn more, as we grow, as we get our kids back, we're going to learn more. Right now, we've got our summer camps going on, and we're learning so much from those kiddos right now. The one thing I'll tell you is our children have already adapted. They understand physical distancing. They understand the requirement to disinfect more, and they're doing just a great job. And so we're going to take care of your kiddos no matter whether they're on campus or off campus. As I said, we're ready to serve you either way. So I hope the rest of your summer is fruitful. I hope that your students are reading every night, practicing their manner in just a little bit. And we're so excited to get this year started. We know that we're going to do as well or better than any school in the world at bringing our kiddos back and giving them a rich and full educational experience. The last thing I want to say is I always say is don't forget to be nice and work hard.